What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trip. I know it's not Halloween yet, but the content I'm about to give you is going to be like a sweet king size candy bar that's going to be happening. So get your buckets out and let's get into it. So we're all going to start on this person on the thumbnail being corrupted because he has done devious things towards members, his own members even. And it's just crazy because he does this not only to his members but to other people too. I don't even know where to begin because the dude was a really close friend to us and we never even expected half of this. I wasn't even expecting to make half this video actually. So it's going to be crazy that this shit is happening. So the question is going to be why am I exposing them? But let's get into like the deep lore and how I met them and who they are before we get into that stage. So first off, the way I met the people, I met the leader first. As like for like an RP group, I was just chilling, trying to make RP videos on YouTube at the time. I didn't really know much about this Expedition Experts group or something like that. That's what he called them. And later on, he just introduced me into it. He was a really chill guy because we had similar goals on Red Dead. Just wanted to like get some stuff done and get XP, get a community, just talk be chill so i just pretty much been like yeah let's just get talked to this guy a little bit more his name on playstation as of right now is called the faithful hunt when i first met him or how old fans met him was minuteman or something that's how everything came through then you're wondering what are the expedition experts like what is their goal who are they so the Expedition Experts are apparently a Red Dead Christian hunting group, which is what I've had to been playing with for the past. And most majority of the members are Christian, and they prefer hunting, hardcore conservative, pretty much what you expect as your great average Southern American, or Midwestern if you like to call it. And that was pretty much what majority of their members were because first they weren't really looking to have like different people on Red Dead, like people with different views, different backgrounds or anything like that. They pretty much wanted a bunch of yes men, which was like their whole goal or something like that. And there was to a point where I wanted to get on and their acceptance rate was like strict at the time. Apparently I was like a little too prideful, but then... Eventually, when I did it a second time, they did let me in because they can see I was trying to change or something like that. I'm changing to be a better person, you know, trying to, like, help Red Dead and the community and stuff. And they saw that at the time, so then that's why I was a former member. And the reason why I was a former member is because they were always on, like, a defensive group. They weren't really looking to, like, be just a friendly group where you can just, like fight whenever or something like that but enough of the lore on why but let's just get started on how he became corrupted so it all started when a few griefers one named die as like people call him best known to like grief anybody no matter what especially watchmen and in red dead if you don't know who the watchmen are they're best known to be the most hated group in Red Dead community. So that's what happened at first and then he started attacking Minute out of nowhere. And also Faithful Hunt or Minute is like I said before has been dealing with like stalkers and griefers. So apparently he might have done some stuff in the past that we're not aware of for weird shit. Like I don't even want to get into detail to it. It must have been that bad where people wanted to stalk him and, like, get his IP and everything. So he had to stay a little bit under the radar. And the thing is, we were still, like, chill with Dai. We weren't, like, enemies, but, but not friends with Dai, but we were still, like, chill with them. Minute apparently didn't like that as he didn't want, like, close members or friends to be associated with the dude. And I can understand where he's coming from, but, like, I'm not going to force, like, stop being friends are like chill with person just because you want to dude like calm down another thing that he usually does very passively this wasn't like 
the biggest reason why I started thinking he was corrupted. He wouldn't let any of his members use, like, Debo's or anything in case if it got dirty because he wanted to fight so honorably and defensively. It was just annoying to other members because one member reached out to me. Well, actually, a former member reached out to me and said that it was all bullshit because it was so fucking stupid. And then, like, behind off camera, he wants to put on this persona that he's, like, so honorable, but he's actually... Like a snake in the game. He's actually a fucking snake. And we had to witness it firsthand. But yeah, that was pretty much on what started his corruption. Or like, most people didn't get hints at or something. But this is where everything started to fold under, yep, he's corrupted for sure. So, after all that in the past, it was nothing pretty much happening we were all just having a chill day wanted to get in the lobby of red dead just chill fuck around so my previous friends in the video deputy and misery we were all just fucking around in a lobby and just chilling around talking shit you know just fun healthy stuff in the game but then some weirdo in the party i'm not gonna mention his name but he just started attacking us out of nowhere and then we all had to fight all of him and his fucking squad just for no reason because he felt a little greedy. Then it we told Minute and everything so he can back us up on this because he was in the party too. Then they all started making claims towards Minute or Faithful Hunt that we shot first when I had clear video proof on why we were innocent and we had rights to shoot back. So then I sent him the full video and everything. He still doubled down. And pretty soon I'm going to show you the text messages on why it made me a little upset. So this is this text message where I sent him the video. I blurred up his last name on his Instagram. His real name is Nathan, apparently. He did sound kind of like a Nathan when you did talk to him at first, so I'm, I'm not surprised. But yeah, I blocked his last name so you can't see or like y'all won't harass him or some shit because i don't want y'all to do it just because of me but this is when i sent him the full video full uncut video my sarcastic ass was like so who shot first and he was like you because i'll get into it in a minute i it was so fucking stupid i don't even want to say it yet then he replies, I watched through it. I said, send me the raw video. You sent it to me cut. Mind you, he sent, I cut the video, which I did not, in fact. It was a 45-minute video. Why would I cut a 45-minute video for that moment? Because in PlayStation, when you record videos and then you don't have enough storage, they tend to cut the video to make your storage a little better. So that you can get extra games and stuff. Because I have the one terabyte on my PS4. I'm going to say it as of right now. I still have my PS4. I don't give a shit what you guys say. But I still have my PS4. Yeah. It cuts by default. I don't fucking cut the video. Why would I cut a 45 minute video? Why would I waste my time to be like. Oh let me cut this video right here. Like I got shit to do. I'm not a no life like you. Alright. Back to it. Then I said watch before I shot them. And look at the map. Misery was down and wasn't from us. Then he was like, upload the quality better. It was Ricky or his friend killing Misery. That's what I said. And he was like, you can't read names. Watching the video, you can't read the names. And then this is where he fell into fucking stupidity and corruption. And it was like, I gave him the fucking time frame on where you can see Misery being down on the map. And his name. And before that, Deputy was straight up killed, mind you. And he was like, you said, and I quote, I can send you the video clip right now. I said do it, and you didn't do it. Instead, you edited the video. And I was like, that's uncut. That's the whole video because PlayStation fucking glitches sometimes, and he doesn't understand that. He probably has like 8 terabytes trying to install World Earth on his PS4 or something like that. This made me fucking think, what is going on? And I, mind you. If you don't believe me, I will put the full uncut video as a link so you guys can see where I was right. Go to the time frame at 3345 and see if my friend was down, bro. I will challenge anybody. Then he was like, bull, 
I watched. I'm not stupid. Bro, get better eyes because you clearly didn't watch the fucking video and jump into conclusions like that. It is a 45 minute clip, uncut, and you still say I watched. Now you're just fucking lying at this point. Then I'm like, you sure? And he was like, play me for sucker is just wild. And I was like, I didn't throw. And he was like, I ain't no retard. Then my dumbass was like, are you sure about that? I sent this motherfucker a gif being like, are you sure about that? Because I'm actually wondering if he's actually a retard. Because it's a 45-minute clip of us fucking around, playing, and the next thing you know, we get shot. Why would I cut that? Why would I cut a 45-minute video? I'm doing stuff, too. Why would I cut use wasted 45 minutes of my life just to cut that video? He didn't even think that, which was the crazy part. And then right after this, he blocked me. I was dying after I saw he blocked me. Oh my god, it was so fucking funny. Then, this this part I'm about to talk about was on me, what my dumbass decided to do. I literally had me and my friends in a whole lobby waiting, planning for this day. We were going to go Dutch Vanderlyn his ass. So what I did was, while he was online, what the plan was... We were going to make sure if he changed his mind a little bit or if he doubled down on his option. I confronted him about it. He doubled down. So I fucking shot him multiple, multiple, multiple times. That was on me. I shouldn't have done that. That was on me. I will admit my wrongs as he won't admit to his. But then it led on to a fucking civil war amongst people because what this man did called up his friend, like, not even just his group, he called up my friends just to go against me, bro, my friends that I even knew, you guys remember, um, a few members that were in the Juggalo video, yeah, I, when I got them to meet one time, he got some of those people just to go against me, bro, because I didn't even have no beef with them at the time, which was the crazy part, and it led to a civil war where it got, like, Devil Rejects and SWJ in there, like, I didn't even want them to be in there, because they were really cool people, why would I want to go shoot them and everything, so I told everything about what happened, and then they're all against Minute at some point or something, because it's, he caused a f civil war just for that shit, bro, he didn't even, he brought his own friends and that was it. I wouldn't mind him bringing his own friends, but he brought my friends, bro. He's just causing a civil war just for everybody, like making it worse for everybody. I admit like what I did was wrong, but like what he did was absolutely more unacceptable because like you can't just have friends go against each other like that, bro. I never called up your friends just to make a war out of you, bro. Like you got to realize what you did was 10 times worse than what I did. I just shot you, and that's it. You called up my own friends just to shoot me up. That is so wild, bro. And then you try to portray yourself as the good guy, which is crazy work. But after the war, I got called up by one of its other expedition expert leaders. His name is Ethan. Me, personally, it's because... I don't think Ethan thinks this way. It's just because Minuteman, Faithful Hunter, Nate, like whatever you want to call him, is his friend. So he's just sticking out to defend him. I completely understand. It is a normal reaction from another leader. So, And the thing is, me personally, I think Ethan is a better leader. Because Ethan actually knows what the fuck he's talking about at this point now. Because Ethan is not as corrupted as he is. He's just brainwashed by like Nathan or something like that. Yeah, so, Ethan decided to confront me a little bit, saying, like, he's not a liar and everything. He's not corrupted. He's still the same person I know. But, yeah, the whole point for Ethan making that video was to make amends, thinking he's not corrupted, and then just basically staying the fuck away from them. Yeah, so I did. I did for a little bit. Then, next thing you know, I was trying to join up on one of my friends, who I didn't know was still one of their members at the time just to fuck around and play play with them because I haven't played Red Dead in a minute. Then, the next you know, guess who I see? You guessed it, Nathan. I saw Nathan unexpectedly, so then I went into a party with my friend, with just him, 
Apparently they were freaking out because they thought I would do something like that again, which I wasn't. Funny thing is, I didn't even do anything. All I did was walk around and wave and they were fucking scared. Because they didn't even know what I was going to do. So then later on, my friend showed me a clip of them saying, if, we're, if he doesn't do anything and doesn't get away from us, you have 10 seconds or we're going to keep shooting you. I even got the clip. If you want to show it, I'll put a link below because this video is going to get too long. And that was pretty much it. And this is why I had to make this video because one, I saw that he got new members in it, which I did not like because I don't want people being part of this corrupted mess already. So I'm putting this out for new members that are willing to join his group. Do not join his group or you want to be corrupted like he is. Or... That's just my whole message for this video, is to warn newcomers on Red Dead before you get on the game and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. And otherwise, it's probably going to be a reminder, make sure to pass out king-size Snickers bars at your house. That's really about it. See ya.